We have to make sure that the politicians are held accountable. Every administration had the ability to put a ban on asbestos. When it comes to asbestos, it really is about power, money, uh, and politics. At this time, I'd like to ask our Science and Prevention, Prevention Board members to come forward. Um, Dick, Arthur, Christine, everyone, Science and Prevention, Barry. Um, Celeste. Yeah, Step Lively. Who am I missing? Okay. Uh, Raja, Stephen Markowitz, others had to go home because of weather. Oh, Mike, are you coming up? Okay, we're gonna, Mike's gonna stay there with his fiance, but we'll, we'll let you stay there. We'll probably bring you flowers soon. Um, yeah, Brad, come on. So we thrive because we have leadership. We don't do this alone. I'm not like in my closet figuring out what my next campaign is solo. We have a backbone, Jordan, come up. We have a backbone of people that make our work possible. So we would like to present our sponsors with their recognition, but I also want to make it perfectly clear. Our sponsors ask us for, Jordan, that's my tush. <laughs> He's incorrigible. Our sponsors ask us for nothing and we don't ever accept money for something. You allow us to do our work. You allow us to make a path forward. And you give us the freedom to do what is right, to end this man-made disaster. So we're gonna do one sponsor at a time. We'd like to have you come up and say a few words. And we would really like to invite Nate Finch to lead this forward and say a few words for the Motley Rice Law Firm. Thank you, Linda, and thank you to everyone at ADAO. There is one thing that we do ask you, and that is to keep doing exactly what you've been doing. Um, I've personally been representing asbestos disease victims in courtrooms for almost 20 years. My firm's been doing it for over 40, and I feel like we can only do justice for our clients because of people like Linda and the ADAO and the people on the stage here. Um, in front of a jury, I think, you know, when it's someone who's sick and dying from mesothelioma or lung cancer against a company that killed them, I'll take my chances in that kind of fight every day. But there is so much money and so much power on the other side of this issue, and it's organizations like yours that make the real difference in the world. You keep the spotlight where it belongs. You focus people's attention on how terrible asbestos disease is and how utterly preventable it is. And it's through efforts of you and ADAO that we are getting closer and closer to banning this scourge from the world and hopefully finding a cure for asbestos diseases and keeping uh, the conscience of America and other countries focused where it should be. So thank you so much. I will ask you to continue to do that. You are a force of nature. I wouldn't call you a pushy American because I'm one too. But uh, <laughs> I wanted to thank you on behalf of all of Motley Rice for everything that you do. And, thank, and we, of course, we will continue to support you. Sure. If, uh, could, could the other Motley Rice people in the audience please come up? The smartest guy with Greg. Come forward. We're going to go that way. Yeah. Should we go in the front? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we get that? Yeah, exactly. Take a knee. <laughs>